everybody, and welcome back to Co-op Episode 31, and, uh, back with Fangs, and I died overnight again, so fun stuff, at least it cured my hunger. We were just talking about how Seven Days has a, has advantages when you die, so it's a fun little thing, but, uh, I'm working on more steel for doors, and but I figured, because Fangs was saying uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea for him to uh, get I think his base upgraded to, well, in the moat, like widen it out one block, so I helped him dig that out, which is already done. Uh, are you going to put out an outside wall on the... Uh, on the mount, on the moat. Maybe. Wouldn't be a bad idea for strengthening. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm gonna go quiet and don't try talking to me. Cause I got, and I keep a count in my head for how far I should go. I yeah. lose progress. Oh, I get it. <sighs> yeah, he's doing work on his base in the basement, so. He's and well, let's just check up on the steel really quick. Yeah, the this door got knocked out, and and so got more of that coming through, and just can search up some doors and vault door requires some springs, so we're gonna. I'll look to see if I have any. I should have a couple. Um, do I not have any springs? All right, I finished digging up the distance for one angle. Yeah, it turns out I don't have any springs, so I think I can make a couple. Yeah, if I just put some clay into the forge. Ah, oh, where's that? Where is it? Where's the springs? Where? I need... I need coal and... I need coal and steel to make that. Have some coal on me handy, but all right. So we make a couple, couple springs, and then we should have some handy. But yeah, while I'm doing this, uh, I'm gonna wait for the steel doors to get crafted, uh, folks, and uh, and we'll be back in a little bit. Well, I've got the doors focused up for you, YouTube, so, uh, we're waiting, we're waiting for more steel. So, just gotta upgrade this, and there we go. Up to a, up to two fully upgraded steel vault doors. Oh, I just got my 69 are fully maxed out. That's cool. Uh... Yeah, Vegas is just building up his, uh, building up his old, uh, basement. It's basically gonna be what you see, uh, like, inside the steel layer. He's going to town on that, and... He was asking if we should go and, uh, go back to, like, our old town, see if, uh, the old, like, the, the loot's respawned on it, but... I'm thinking... I should go back down to the old, uh, like the, this, uh, this town that I found over here. I didn't get to fully explore it. So I'm going to uh, travel over there and I will let you know once I'm there. Well, folks, I'm on the way to town and have an airdrop coming in. And well, it was literally straight at me. So I figure we'll just, uh, pick this up. Um... 
a level 43 AK-47 barrel, rocket launcher receiver in stock, and then uh, we got some painkillers and antibiotics. So, and and that AK-47 barrel, which I don't even need, it's uh, it's it's mostly broken. It's just junk. And then the a level five rocket launcher stock. Unless I'm wanting a rocket launcher of my own, it's just not a bad airdrop. Just could have been a lot better. Especially on day 31 with our levels. Yeah. So, I you can see the town if you kind of look hard off in the distance. Uh, not too far away, so I'm just gonna kind of drive along the shore. Almost ran over a nurse. So give me one second, I'll be over there. Well, folks, we're back in town now, so... It's a... I'm thinking... I'm trying to think where we want to go for loot. We do have a prison, which is a prime looting spot. And, well, I actually haven't raided the cop shop uh, in a little bit, so... Let's just go and check on this a little bit. There's some decent loot in here. Um, got a couple of zombies out front. Hello, Charlie. What should I do with all the dirt I have? What was that? What should I do with all the dirt I have? I don't know, just craft it into, craft it into the dirt and, uh, like, some ground and make, you know, grind out your miscellaneous crafting. I don't know. Um, take a look here. Nothing in that car. I'll just take care of you really quick. There you go. Uh, what you got for me? Corpse? Okay, I'll take it. Some ammunition for SMG and my sniper rifle. Goes for a box. We got sniper rifle, receiver, magnum grip, which is level 29. I'm just going to scrap that. And then a pistol receiver, so... Not horrible, so... Breaking on in here, let's just run up to the old, uh... Um, what do you call it? The, the room with the munitions box. And... These are really easy little cast smashing grabs here, folks, so... Just give me one second while I'm breaking in here. Let's check this munitions box out. Takes a couple seconds, but hopefully some ammo or a something, maybe something else. Huh, just 27 six twos. Nothing in the bookshelf. Uh, I'm sure Fags would probably come with me if he wasn't focused on building his base, but I can't really blame him. He wants to do uh, what he wants, and well, you know, I and I'm not, you know, I'm not his mother. I'm not gonna tell him what to do. Break in here. Because I I need to get my base. Because you have an actual base that's been going for a while. I I just built mine. Yeah, he's just trying to get himself sorted. Uh, break into the gun safe here. It really shouldn't take that long. To break in. You can see this is just overall not horrible for Lou. It's uh just for these couple things alone. Let's check what we got. Uh, crappy shotgun barrel, hunting rifle barrel in stock, and just some extra pistol stuff. Not not the greatest slew, but what can I expect out of it? I'll check these sloggers out too. McDiver's book, shotgun schematic, and come on, get with the times here. And then we got a leather duster and a and a white baseball cap. Um, uh, and a potato. Fun. Just Fun a potato. Time. Just a potato. <laughs> uh, I love it when I search one of those coolers and it's just like it's just a potato. Sorry, an interesting time. Yep. Um. Check out the kitchen here before I start breaking into the little prison cells, because those take a little bit to break in. I don't want to bore you folks with that. There's not, it's just kind of more of the same old, same old. Honey, at least, out of these. Uh, I know back at home with uh, 
Uh, with my forges running, I'm getting all the screamer attention. Uh, I'm getting a lot of those. It's just. Uh, you mean I'll have to deal with them, so we're both getting it. I mean, like, what, what I was meaning is, like, they're kind of focusing on my base primarily. But, you get what I mean. So not really much in the kitchen. We got we got some lead at least. Then a little bit of a, a puffer coat. We'll just repair that. And I'm gonna well actually check for the zombies. Oh, I can't figure out how to open the door. Uh, we'll just help I'll help this lady out here. Come here. There you go. Give me a couple uh, minutes and I'll um, break in here and, and we'll check out the corpses in the toilets. Alright, let's take a look at the toilet in here, folks. Uh, nothing in there. I did accidentally search one of the corpses in the cell and the toilet. There was nothing in the corpse here. Uh, like, And then uh, there was just a turd and some murky water in there, which really on... Second thought, I'll take the uh, I'll take the turd. You know, just to uh, we can use it to make fertilizer later on. What do you got? Nothing in that corpse. Well, and nothing in that toilet. So you can see t uh, two for nothing, two for t three out of those toilets. Uh, kind of felt like a waste of time, but it's always a, it's kind of worth the uh, checking. What uh, did you? Ooh, nice. Uh -huh. And so, oops, actually I mined out some of the floor there. Got some more murkies. And check out the medicine cabinet. I actually use that and then... And we'll just sit, have the blood bag, yo. Nope, don't throw out the corn seed. <laughs> The, uh, the, the, the nitrate powder sent the uh, corn seed flying into the sink and actually landed in the sink. <laughs> That's a funny little moment. But yeah, there's really not too much else in this in this uh, police station. Not, not that much to have a look at. Let's take a look at somewhere else that could use a little bit of looting. There's Am I Gone Funeral Home. There's really not much in that one. It's it's an okay looting spot, but not really one of the big ones to have a little look at. Well, actually, there's a uh, one of the well bunkers. I can't remember if I raided it or not, but it wouldn't be a bad uh, little loot spot to take a look at. No, I haven't. So I'm going to go break in here, and I will let you know once I'm in the safes. Okay, let's take a look at the gun safes in the munitions box. A full sawed-off shotgun. And then hunting rifle barrel. And then that's... This stuff's not very good quality, so... The only thing is, like, hunting rifle... No, no, pistol parts. My apologies. Uh, grab the munitions box and rock a level seven rocket launcher barrel. Level one tell. So impressive. What was that? Damn, so impressive. <laughs> the most impressive loot ever. I did search. I did search the gun store boxes, guys, but uh, there was just really maybe like a, a mostly broken hunting rifle barrel. Um, we'll just check out the, uh, garage storage, and the bookcases, we'll at least check this. Got at least one schematic. And, let's see this. One more bookcase here. So, just the leather boot schematic and some paper. It's about night time. Yeah, it's nighttime now, folks, so... So, yeah, I'm gonna get back home, and I'm going to, uh, do some more base work overnight, so... Hope you enjoyed, and I... We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.